Be completely honest. Does anyone wear sunscreen on cloudy days? Or when you have no plans of getting out of the house? When do you need to wear sunscreen and when is it optional? We'll test it out for you and do the fact checking. Hi guys, it's Casper. Today's video is about sunscreen. Do I still have to wear it when it's cloudy or if I'm staying indoors? Well, we previously uploaded two other videos where I did some other tests related to sunscreen and I'm back with another one. Today, we're doing a UV ray test. We recently held a survey on our community tab preparing for this video. And we asked, do you apply sunscreen even on cloudy days or days when you stay indoors? Now, even though you've probably heard that you must be wearing sunscreen for all days of the year, you guys were being really honest with your answer. Only 25% of you guys said that you wear sunscreen no matter what. So today on Beauty Facts Unboxing, we'll show you when our skin is safe from UV rays and when wearing sunscreen is optional. If you know you're going to be inside for most of the day, whether you're at school, home, or work, there may be days where you pass on wearing sunscreen. But is it really okay not to worry about UV rays when you're indoors? This device can measure wavelengths that range between 280 and 400, which are wavelengths that represent UVA and UVB rays. In this studio I'm currently in, there's no source of sunlight and only visible rays, so the device shows zero. But what happens if I'm in a room that has windows? So first, I came outside today to test out the UV meter. I have the UV light meter with me, and it's the first time I've tested like a UV content sort of thing, some pr protection thing in the cold like this. So I'm kind of freezing, but let's see how the sun is going to treat us today. Okay, so rightly, right directly under the sun. Oh, oh, I should show you, right, huh? It's like a thousand and a hundred. So now we're under the shade and if I point it at the sun, we get to about like 200. Mm, so it's like a 200, 300. Now what will happen to the UV index when I go indoors? Let's go find out. So the Wish Company office is at the 14th floor with a lot of large windows. So I'm gonna go inside and see and visit the resting area first. And that's where the employees hang out a lot throughout the day. So uh, the view might be really nice from these large windows, but the UV is pretty high. It's like 127. So even though the view might look really nice from these windows, the UV is still pretty high at like 120. I'm gonna speak a little quietly because everyone's working, but we're gonna test out what the sunlight is for someone that works next to a window for eight hours. Okay, so I'm gonna point towards the window. But as you guys can see here, and the UV index here is close to being zero or basically zero because these windows are specially coated, so it's different from the one in the restroom. On this day, we had bad air quality, but on a clear and bright day, UV levels can be measured even though the window has UV blocking function. So take note. So now that I've checked the indoor UV index, I found out that not all UV rays are blocked out, even when you're indoors, unless there's a UV blocking window. Then how about inside of a car? On a sunny day, the UV index peaked to the 1800s in the sun and was in the 290s in the shade. I also held the test inside of a bus. And the UV index in the window seat went up to 280, which is similar to the UV index measured in the shade. So whether we're in the shade, on the bus, or in a room with windows, our skin is not completely safe from UV rays. Do you need to wear sunscreen even when you're indoors? Unfortunately, the answer to this question is yes, it's best if you do. If you're in a completely enclosed space with no windows and just fluorescent lighting, you don't have to worry about UV rays. How about on cloudy or rainy days? Wouldn't there be close to no UV rays since there's no sun out? So I held the test again on both cloudy and rainy days. So it's clearly a lower number compared to the sunny day, but isn't it surprising that the numbers were still high even though that there's no sun to be seen? Since the UV rays are blocked once with the clouds and once through the window, the UV index could not be measured indoors on a cloudy or rainy day. So why do UV rays reach us even when the sun is blocked by clouds or even indoors when it's blocked by windows? Well, UV rays are divided into UVA, UVB, and UVC depending on the length of the wavelength. The shortest wavelength UVC is actually not a problem because they are mostly absorbed and blocked by the ozone layer. However, UVAs and UVBs penetrate the ozone layer and affect our skin. UVBs, which cannot pass through many obstacles such as clouds or windows due to their short wavelength, 
are the UV rays that you should be especially careful about when you're outside on a sunny day. However, UVAs, which have the longest wavelength, pass through clouds and windows and affect the skin deep within. Damage caused by UVAs accumulates throughout a long period of time and causes skin aging. This is a photo of a man who drove a delivery truck for 28 years with only one side of his face exposed to UV rays. It can be seen as an example of how UVAs continuously affect the dermis and accelerate skin aging as they can penetrate car windows. Do I need to wear sunscreen even on a cloudy or rainy day? If you plan on being outside, it's better to wear sunscreen because the UV index is still relatively high on cloudy days. If it's a cloudy or rainy day and you stay indoors because you don't feel like going out, it's okay to not wear sunscreen. This test was conducted in the winter when the temperature was below zero, and since UV rays are relatively weaker in the winter compared to the summer, all the UV indexes will be higher during the seasons when the UV rays are stronger. Most people wear sunscreen when the sun is strong, but during seasons where there's less sun or on cloudy days, we tend to neglect sunscreen. Some people experience breakouts after wearing sunscreen, which makes them avoid wearing sunscreen in general unless they're out in the sun all day. That's why it's so important to find a sunscreen that works for your skin and doesn't break you out. Introducing the first SPF promotion prepared by Wishtrend. Not only sunscreens sold by Wishtrend, but also sunscreens from other popular brands are said to be available. The description of each sunscreen is in the description, so please check it out. today's video. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions you had. If there's anything else you want to know or something you want to see being revealed on Beauty Facts Unboxing, let us know in the comments. Your question could become the next episode. See you guys next time!